Trigger finger is a common condition which may cause significant functional problems. Trigger finger, also known as stenosing flexor tenosynovitis, is a condition in which the finger or the thumb clicks or locks when in flexion, preventing a return to extension. The long flexor tendons of the fingers arise from the flexor digitorium superficialis and flexor digitorium profundus at the forearm muscles. These tendons enter the hand via the carpal tunnel, enclosed in a common synovial sheath. The role of the flexor digitorium tendon is to perform flexion of the fingers, so forming a fist. Within the hand, the tendons fan out and enter via respective fibrous flexor sheaths. These sheaths are strong ligamentous tunnels, each associated with a digit. The sheath allows easy and smooth gliding of the flexor tendon when flexing the fingers, as shown in this diagram. Now the fibrous flexor sheaths contain thickened areas, known as the annular pulleys. These further support the tendon in place and are very important in the biomechanics of finger flexion. There are five annular pulleys, which hold the tendon close to the bone. The A1 pulley, at the level of the metacarpal head, is the first part of the sheath and is subject to the highest force. As you can see, what happens first is you get inflammation of the flexor pulley A1. Over time, this can lead to inflammation of the flexor tendon underneath, leading to a catching sensation as the finger is bent. Inflammation can then lead to formation of a nodule that, when big enough, can lead to triggering of the finger. Here, you can see when the fingers are flexed, the nodule moves proximal to the pulley. However, when the person attempts to extend the digit, this nodule fails to pass back under the pulley. Consequently, the digit becomes locked in a flexed position. This is a trigger finger. Usually, trigger finger is painless, and sometimes there's complaint of catching, locking, or snapping of the finger. It can be corrected by bringing the finger in extension with the other hand. However, trigger finger can become painful over time. Management involves splinting the triggered fingers in extension to allow rest. If this does not help, or in cases of severe functional impairment, steroid injections can be trialed, which can show improvement over a few days. Surgical management is also an option. A trigger finger release via a needle can be attempted in most cases, involving the release of the tunnel using a needle performed under local anesthetic. The main risk of developing trigger finger is overuse of the flexor tendons, such as prolonged gripping and the use of hands. Other risk factors include rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes mellitus, female gender, and increasing age. Differential diagnosis of trigger finger includes Dupuytren's contracture, where you get thickening and contraction of the palmar fascia causing a fixed and painless flexion deformity that cannot be passively corrected. Infection within the tender sheaths, usually preceded by a trauma, can also cause painful, swollen, erythematous uh, digit. A ganglion cyst is another differential involving the tendon sheath. Acromegaly, where you get excessive growth hormone, results in swelling of the flexor synovian within the tendon sheath, 
due to increased extracellular volume. So in summary, trigger finger is a common condition which may cause significant functional impairment, also called stenosing flexor tenosynovitis. It is a condition in which the finger or thumb click or lock when in flexion, preventing a return to extension. Thank you for watching.